Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So as many of you guys know, I get sent a lot of products. Now when I get sent a lot of products, I take the time to use them, see what they're all about before I actually do the video. Now I was sent an actual product and I was absolutely shocked by what this Gantel couldn't actually do and what it could do. And especially because of the price they actually want for it, which is absolutely ludicrous because the price they want for it, you can buy the cheaper competitors which can do exactly the same thing. Now, I know many of you guys, you guys ain't gonna want this scan tool because of what it only offers, and I think it's an absolute con. They are charging 260 pounds for this scan tool, and it cannot do everything that you guys want. So, instead of speaking, I'm gonna show you what the scan tool is, and I'm gonna show you what features this scan tool has actually got on it, and why many of you guys would not want it, and why I think it's a useless tool, and why it's overpriced for what it is, and I'll tell you the other competitors that you can actually go and buy, which actually copy this same scan tool, and I don't get why this company is charging so much for this, probably thinking that other people are not aware that they can actually buy the other company's one for much, much cheaper. God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories we run into New York so you know. So here it is guys. This is the King Bolan Smart Scan Tool. Now don't be fooled by when they say smart scan tool because that is simply not the case. Now, one thing many well, probably you guys who watch this looking for a good scan tool, a cheap, affordable scan tool, would probably just go and buy this. But I'm here to tell you do not go and buy this because this is simply overpriced crap. And the reason I'm saying that is purely because. Top Don and Launch make the same thing for half the price that King Bolan is charging for this. Now, obviously this was sent to me and I obviously I've already told them I was gonna be saying this on the video because I cannot force you guys to go and buy something that is not fit for purpose. And this scan tool is simply not fit for purpose. Now, when I say not fit for purpose, it's purely because all this gives you is allows you to read your thought codes. It's got no bi-directional controls. The reset functions are very, very slim. I think it only gives you eight of them and they're charging 260 pound. Now, if many of you guys remember, I reviewed a Think Car dongle, which is only 80 pound to buy, has the same UI as this, and can do much more than this, because that can do coding, programming, bi-directional, the lot for 80 quid. You also remember the Top Don dongle I done. It uses the same UI as what's built into this handheld scan tool, and it can do exactly the same thing as this, for less money, for 50 quid. Top Don also do one like this, which is only 159 pound, exactly the same as this King Bolan one. And you can go and check it out online. This is the, the Smart Scan tool. I believe this is the S800. It doesn't matter what ones they are, S800, S600, they're all the same. None of them bi-directional. This is overpriced junk. And I'm gonna plug it up to the car and I'm just quickly gonna show you what it gives you. It's a very, very basic scan tool, nothing on it. You guys can get to see it yourself. You'll get to see the UI. You can go and look up my previous videos to see what I'm actually on about. I had the Think Car plug-in dongle from your phone, which that can do a lot more than this for the price. You can buy the dongle for 80 pound or the top down one for 50 pound and be able to do the exact same thing as this and save yourself, you know, nearly 200 quid without buying this. Now in the box, it's very basic. You can see here, this is the scan tool and it does work without the lead to be able to update it and everything. So I'll just turn it on quickly so you guys get to see it. And you can see it comes up King Bolan. Now we'll link the top one ones as well as this one in there so you guys can go and compare it yourself, but they are all the same. I'd been looking for quite a few days to see if there was any differences and there wasn't. Even the button configuration is the same. Top one one says top on the top. Everything is exactly the same. And as you can see, it is the S800 on there. Doesn't matter, as I said, S800, S600, they're all the same. As that's loading up, inside the box, you get your user instruction manual, you get your OBD port to plug it in, and you get a USB charger just to charge it up. You can see here, it takes a while to actually load up and read. Um, this is not a scan to old, probably be using myself, but you can see there, it's got supported system and software, so you've got all them things that you can reset. Um, not enough options for the price they expect you to pay because you can buy more affordable scan tools that can do a lot more than this. So you can click OK. If you go into diagnosis, we don't need the cable for this. You can see here, it struggles to get the network already, always did when I first got it. You can see there, this UI you would have seen many, many times on my phone when I've used scan tools with the dongle on my phone. It's just a very, very simple scan tool. You can see there you can do, you know, auto search, this, that, the other, not that it works very well. 
You've got OBD as well, which tells you to connect with the OBD cable, maintenance. You've got all of them service functions in there, but I just don't think it's worth the money. Now, this doesn't allow you to have bi-directional control either, even if you upgrade it, and it is not worth the money um, for what they're charging. Now, obviously, I know a lot of you probably won't listen to me and probably go ahead and just buy it, but that's simply up to you. I'm here to tell you not to buy this scan tool because it is a con, and if you do want something like this, I can then put you in contact with the top down one, which is much, much cheaper than this one. This is not a good scan tool to buy by any means, and I'm gonna show you guys, and that's purely because many of you guys want coding, programming, and also bi-directional controls to make it easier to diagnose your car. This one simply does not have that. So I'm gonna show you on the car what functions this actually has and what it cannot do. So as you can see here, we've got it loaded on the Porsche, and I'm just gonna click Diagnosis, and we'll go to Porsche right here, just so you guys can see. And we'll just click Porsche, and you guys can see it's connected to the VCI right now. And once it connects, you'll be able to see all the functions it can do. Like I said, guys, this is not the greatest scan tool. And I did ask them why they actually sent me this. And they said they didn't know I needed bi-directional. So it does go to show you that these guys don't even watch my channel. They're just trying to ship out whatever they can to obviously make sales. I think that many of you guys are going to fall victim to it or I'm going to try and sell it to you. So you guys go and buy this junk when I know many of you guys want a bi-directional tool. Now, if you can see there, we can do automatically search and it will load up and it will just scan your fault codes. This is all the scan tool gives, so it does tell you what it is. And as you can see there, that's all it gives you. So health report, system scan, system selection, that's about it. So if we just do system scan, we'll just click yes. And you can see there it's now reading everything that's now equipped in the car. Now we can click on DME Digital Motor Electronics. And you can see there, that's the only things you can get. So it's module information, read fault code, clear fault code, read data stream. Those are the only options you can actually do with this scan tool, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. For the price of this tool, you'd expect it to be bi-directional, which it's not. And as you can see there, I wasn't lying to you guys. You can go through every module if you want and check it. You can go here as well. Where else can we go? Well, it didn't really scan many modules, I can say, for starters. Um, you can see there as well, it doesn't have anything to do bi-directional. As I said, the scan tool is junk and it's purely not worth buying at all so if you do see it come up do try and avoid it guys because it's simply not worth the money for 260 pound at all i've tried it on the bms and the porsche and it just doesn't deliver on what they charge for this tool okay guys so now have you seen now i've now shown you this king bolin s800 scan tool as i said to you this scan tool is really really not worth the price and please do not go and buy it and fund these people for this scan tool because it's simply not worth the money. It's very, very limited and this will not help you diagnose your car. If you have a fault code, yes, you've got a fault code, but if you can't safely diagnose that and you don't have bi-directional controls, how are you gonna know if that's actually the problem? Just because it's a sensor, it might not be the sensor, it could be the wiring, it could be anything to do with that sensor. Therefore, that's why bi-directional is actually needed, especially with BMWs when they have a lot of modules, you need to check them and bi-directional is the way forward. This scandal cannot do all that. And if you are looking for one like this, as I said, I will link the top down one as well with this one down the bottom. So you guys can go and see the price differences. They are all the same, the S600 and the S800. And if you do want one that can do it all, which is cheap and which is a dongle, you can get the Fink car or the top down one, which is 80 pounds. You can do coding, programming, bi-directional and read your fault codes all from your phone. The dongle is only 80 quid and you get everything right there. You can pick all the service resets you want and you can also upgrade and have more. With this, you cannot do that. This is not worth the cost of 260 pounds at all. So please guys, please avoid this scan tool if you do come across it on Amazon. Do not think it's a great scan tool because it's really, really not. Thank you very much for watching guys. And as I said to you, the scan tool was sent to me by King Bolan, whoever they are. I am really, really not sure. They had sent me a few scan tools previously, all launch runs, and then they thought they could sell me this, thinking I was like a small YouTuber where I don't know what I'm doing, or I don't know, they thought that I was gonna big this up to try and help their sales, which I'm really, really not. I'm really disappointed that they even sent me this, purely because this scan tool is not fit for purpose, especially not fit for this channel for what I do. I have many, many other high-tech scan tools that outdo this in seconds, and this is a complete disappointment by the company. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.